It's time for Who Wrote, wrote that, that comment? comment? It's Doggy. Oh my gosh, a shiny, unique Aizen? What? I've played this update long enough now to know exactly who I'd rank where. So here's my update 7.6 tier list. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, as a little note, if you guys have a mythical unit, any mythical unit is amazing to have, except for arm and just throw them out. But, uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Any mythical unit, guys, is really good, so if you have any of these characters evolved, you're doing a lot better than not having any. I hope you guys do like this, though. Make sure to hit the like button before anything, and make sure to watch from beginning to end. It really helps me out a ton. I'll go ahead and start with the newer characters so you guys can see where they're gonna get ranked before everything else because a lot of things really don't change except for like little things here and there that they update like little buffs and so on and so forth but let's go ahead and begin of course with the current best dpm dps best unit in the game aizen final must bring magic unit um i know in my video with aizen i said that his form before evolution was better than Aizen Final. I was wrong, okay? Aizen Final is phenomenal and you're gonna wanna have Aizen Final. Next up we got Yamamoto Hellfighter. Hellfire, also phenomenal must bring unit. Now, little thing, I don't actually own Yamamoto Hellfire yet, so I think he's a magic unit, but if I am wrong, just let me know down below. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he's a magic unit just based off of what he does. Anyways, let's go through this list because I can't even talk. Let's go through this list real quick. Who else is new? Um, new Bleach unit is going to be Ichigo Final Dusk. Definitely meta must ring physical unit. I think he does like one of the top, I don't know, I want to say top five DPMs. Hold on, let me pull up my... Uh, Quick little list here. Give me just a second. All right, I'm back. So it looks like Ichigo Final Dusk is like the sixth slash fifth. He's the fifth because I put two Aizens on there. He's the fifth strongest unit in the game in terms of damage per minute. And then he also has a massive amount of range. And then his skill, the plus 900% damage is really good. And the fact that he also hits airs after upgrade like seven makes him an exceptionally good unit. So Ichigo Final Dusk definitely deserves to drink on the must bring physical. Uh, let's see, going down the list. List here is no, no, nothing new. Ging Sacred Spear. Ging is a great physical unit if you need a crit physical unit. He is definitely not the first unit you are going to summon for on this update, so make sure that you do not summon for him first if, you're try if you still don't have the other Bleach characters from this update. The same thing goes for Kenpachi, actually. He's a good, like, support unit, and he does a lot of damage, don't get me wrong. He's probably, like, the ninth, I think he is, he's the ninth strongest uh, yeah, I guess because he's the ninth strongest. We're gonna have to put him up here. <laughs> um, yeah, he's the ninth strongest, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, also, I think Yamamoto is a physical now that I really think about it. So, Yamamoto is definitely a must ring physical unit. Okay, Kenpachi and must ring. He just, the only reason I'm putting in this must ring as opposed to like very good is the fact that he does a lot of damage, he's full AoE, and he's stunned. So, a very good must ring physical unit. Who else is new this update? Going down the list. No, not new, not new, not new. No, not Bleach. No, not Bleach. Soifo and Hornet, best air unit in the game. Other than Aizen Final, of course, and like Ichigo Dusk is also really good, but Soifo and Hornet does like 100,000 more damage than Lucky. Does like 150,000 more damage than Ichigo. So, in my opinion, Soifon is actually better than Ichigo, but Ichigo has the ability. So, uh, there's a lot of things you'd want to trade off. Like for Ichigo, if you have him with Unique, it makes him really cheap and it makes his ability extremely, extremely useful. And I think it does like 3 million damage. So, that's really good. But uh, yeah, Soifon, definitely one of the must ring physical units. I'm going to change this list to look like uh, as accurate as I can. So, there we go. That's what I'm going to do there. And then finally, there, there had to be one more unit, right? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, that's it. Okay, so that's all the units from this update specifically. Next, we'll go back to the previous update. Let's go ahead and see uh, Dark Asta. I'm going to say that Dark Asta is actually better than Ichigo and actually better than Soifon. Now, Dark Asta does 2 million DPM, guys. Yep, 
2 million DPN from Dark Ass as opposed to 1.7 million from Soifon and 1.7 million from Ichigo. Um, it's just that uh, Ichigo has that ability that Asta doesn't have and then Ichigo has like twice the range that Asta has. But I still think Asta is actually a better unit than uh, Ichigo. But Soifon, because she's air, I'm going to put her ahead of Asta just because she's airs, okay? That's the only reason why. Also, Yamamoto stays up here because of the fact that he has the massive like ability, which for everything that he kills, he gains an extra plus 2% like damage increase. So let's say you kill a thousand enemies, that's an extra 2,000 damage on his next attack. So. Very strong. If you have a unique on that, I don't even want to think how strong that is, okay? Yeah, really, really OP. You know Spirit, best magical air hitting unit in the game. Soifon, you know, must have air hitters, guys. If you are not listening to what I'm saying throughout this entire video, make sure you listen to what I'm saying right now. Soifon and you know are must have air hitters on your team. Yummy Captain, physical, he's great, he's not good, he's great, his damage is still up there, like 1.6 million DPN almost, and he ignores shields, but there are better units than Yami Captain, he's like Ging, they're both really really good units to have, it's just that, I don't know, there's better units than them out there, so that's where Yami Captain goes, lucky Thunder Fiend is gonna go up there along with Ichigo, along with Kenpachi. Definitely better than Kenpachi, but not better than Ichigo in my opinion. Um, it's just that Ichigo's ability definitely outscales Lucky's physical damage there. Valkyrie Noel Armor is actually a less string magic unit, guys. Believe it or not, Noel is one of like the top like magic users in the game, other than Aizen, Geto, and like Moria and Yuno. Noel falls right after them, so uh, Noel must bring Magic Evolved. Really strong, you can place a total of five of her, and if you got like Divine, that's a lot of damage. And she's multi-hit, so many factors as to why she is one of the best units uh, for Magic. Anyways, let's see, let me just go down this list. Akainu, he's a good unit, not the best, not great. Uh, Akaza, he's fine. Uh, All Might, he's... yeah, he's... He's good. Uh, Armin, don't summon for this unit, please. Like, until unless you have double unique passives and they buff him even more in the future, don't summon for him, okay? He's just not that good. Arima, he's good. They need to buff him again. Um, you'll see why in just a moment. Because um, Arima and Ukiora used to compete, but Arima's definitely fallen off the list, so... Yep, not as good as he used to be. Okay, let's see. Who else do we have here? We have Broly. He's good. The fact that he hits air now makes him a little bit better. Um, definitely better than Akaza. Brook is a great physical unit. Do not get me wrong. He's a great physical unit with the buff, but he's definitely not a must bring character. So he's going to go down here and actually he's going to go below these two because these two actually do a ton more damage than uh, Brook do. Maybe Ging doesn't do as much damage. Like Ging has a crit, so... He's gonna say just right there, I love Brooke. Bulma, of course, must bring. She's actually a physical unit. <laughs> Funny, or believe it or not. Uh, same thing with Erwin. He's a must bring. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna put Erwin at the great physical category now because, in terms of damage, Erwin doesn't do anything anymore. Like, absolutely nothing. So, all you're bringing Erwin for is like support. And uh, yeah, I he just. He's kind of fallen off. And. Same thing goes for Wendy, she's great in magic, but she's not like must bring magic on your team. Now, Wendy could fall under must bring because of the fact that you can use her ability on placement. Erwin, you cannot use his ability on placement. So uh, yeah, but we're gonna go ahead and leave her at the great magic just so we can leave the good uh, mythical units up there. Perfect Cell is a huge physical hitter. Um, I'm actually gonna put him down here only because Soifon is already up there as our best air hitter but he's still gonna be one of like the best great physical hitters to have he also takes a lot to evolve so yeah um yeah there that's where he's gonna go Erza lightning also a great physical hill unit we'll go right here with cell they definitely do not compare with Soifon though, okay? There's a Lightning does like 1.4 million, Soifon does like 1.8 million, something like that. So 
do not compare, which is why they're going to go on the great physical category. True Heart Erza, another like a decent Erza to have. Not the best, not the worst. She's great. Same thing with Erza Valkyrie. They're just, you know, they're good physical units. Definitely better than all these other units below them, but they're not like the strongest thing in the game. I'll probably put Erza. Mm, I'll put Erza Valkyrie over here, and then True Erza will go down here, in my opinion. Alrighty, we got Eto. She's like fine. I don't know. They it Eto just doesn't work. Kisuke, Bankai. So originally my thought for Kisuke was that he was gonna go up really, really high. But I thought about it a little bit. Um and Kisuke really isn't that amazing. Uh his team buff is great and he's unobtainable. So if you have him, you're obviously gonna wanna use him for like infinite runs and stuff, but Kisuke is just like a, he's okay. He's a good physical unit. Um, I don't know. If you have him, he's gonna fall here. But the fact that most people don't have him, I'm gonna put him as good. His damage is falling off. Really all you're doing is bringing him as a support unit. So that's where he goes. Uh, same thing with uh, Eren, Titan. If you're not doing an infinite run, you don't really care for Eren. I'm gonna put Kisuke up top though, okay. Ghetto Maximum is like the eighth strongest magic user in the game. And he's actually the, or the eighth strongest character in the game. He's unobtainable, but he is the strongest magic user after Aizen in terms of DPM. So uh, definitely goes up there, goes behind Yuno above Noel Valkyrie, and he's unobtainable. So yeah, the thing about Ghetto is that he hits airs only after the seventh upgrade, which kind of sucks, but you can get there pretty quickly. Crush, he's a great physical uh, shield breaker. We got Gojo. Unfortunately, Gojo falls second on our list. Aizen is actually better than Gojo. Now, in terms of uh, ability, Gojo has a really good ability that you can use every 30 seconds. Aizen's really only good for like the end or in case you think you're about to lose, you can use Aizen's abilities and like kill the enemy split. Gojo, still very good unit to have. Definitely would still want to go for him. The only thing is he takes a lot of time to obtain and it takes a lot of hours grinding those infinite runs to get his limitless and to evolve him. So just an FYI. Uh, Gon. I don't actually remember if Gon is uh, physical or magic, to be honest with you guys. Uh, he is magic. So full AoE, lots of range. Um, he's good. He's He definitely fell off a little bit, so he's good. Gray, great magic user. Uh, he stuns and he hits airs, and you can place him on the ground. He's not the strongest unit in the game, but he's definitely a unit you would want, uh, especially if you want a little bit of support and you want to hit air units. So he's a great magic user. Um, I don't even know why he's on this list, to be honest. I'm gonna leave him down here. Uh, Jalal Heaven, one of the other strongest units in the game that you cannot acquire. Uh, so he hits airs, which is good. He's a hybrid unit. I'd say he's a great magic user above that and above that right there. Julius, okay. Julius is weird. You can only place one Julius and that's it, right? So on his own, Julius is kind of bad. But the only reason you're bringing Julius is because you want to use his time stop ability. And because of that, I'm actually going to bring Julius at the must bring magic users. Uh, I love Noel still, um, but definitely not one of the strongest in the game. But his ability is really OP for your run. Juzo, he's fine. He's really fallen off. Uh, same thing with Kilua. Kilua's stun just isn't that worth it anymore. Kite's fine, but he's unattainable. Lelouch, I think Lelouch is physical, if I remember correct. Um, I always get this wrong, then I never remember, and then I put it on wrong, and you're like, ah, but he's magic. And I'm like, ah, sorry, I don't know him, Lelouch, but I just know where he should go. But there we go, there's Lelouch. He's a, he's a good unit, but definitely not the best unit in the game. And no one, let's be real, no one owns him, so he's just gonna go under the great physical. Levi, he's fine. Oh my gosh, Lucy took me 17 hours, if you guys remember, from the past to evolve. 
and yet she still sucks. She's just good. We got ourselves Madara. He's good. He does burn damage. His damage is up to like 70,000. He's great. Really, he is. But he's not great. He's good great. Not great. Make sense? Okay. Megumi, great magic. Uh, he's not the highest DPM, but that's not what you're using for. You're using Megumi for his plus 25% magic damage that he puts on enemies. Um, King Narum, he's a great physical user. I have Unique on him, actually, so of course I'm going to like him a bit more. But I'm actually going to put him right over here above Erza in the top four with all of these users. He's Hydrid. He's really good. Mochi is one of those units that I really can't remember if Mochi is uh, physical or uh, magic, to be honest with you. So, uh, let's see. He is physical. He's he's fine. He, I'm going to put him under good. If you're going for an infinite run, you're going to want to bring Mochi. But other than that, he's just he's fine. There's nothing too special about him right now, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> you're going to hate me for this. Moria Shadow Lord damage per minute wise is literally like top 10. Like, I'm not even kidding, it's top 10. And because of that, he's not gonna be a must bring unit, but he's definitely gonna be a great magic user. Uh, probably second best, or if not the best, great magic user so far. Kent, great physical user. Uh, definitely suggest getting him if you don't have him. But obviously, if you look above, there's other units on this tier list that you should go before Kent. Natsu is a great... I think he's magic, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Natsu Lightning is magic, yet, yeah, so Natsu's a great magic user. He does the fire damage. If you guys remember, there's a lot of, like, ice units on the field. Yamamoto is insane for those ice units, okay? Huge AoE, lots of damage. Same thing with Natsu, though. Lots of damage against those ice units. Netero, I'm honestly gonna put him down at the fine category. Perona, great magic user. Not must bring, but great. Um, her slows are amazing. You definitely want her on your team. We got Pito. I'm gonna put her at the good because Juzo's at the fine. That's the only reason why. And then Rengoku is just fine. All right. Yep. Shanks has fallen off so hard that his ability doesn't even matter. Okay. Hear me out. Coyote on story mode is still a good unit to have. I think he's magic, actually. Um, it's just that he kind of falls off a little bit, but he is still a pretty decent unit to have. His DPM is really low. So, actually, hold on. I lied. He's going to be on the good category. His DPM is really low, but he's still a good unit to have. Um, probably, like, a love gone, in my opinion. Sakuna, you know about Sakuna. Great physical unit to have on your team. Good lead, best lead in the game. Put him right there behind Cell. Tatara, he's fine. Honestly, I'm gonna put him under good. There's a worst lead unit, Juzo. Tengen is just good. He doesn't evolve. If he had an evolution, he'd probably be a great or a must bring character, but he doesn't evolve. This is the unit I was talking about earlier that like changed from this update. It is going to be this Olkiora. He is actually a great magic user now, just because of the fact that he actually hits airs now. So Olkiora is a great magic user. He's become the new, like, uh, narrow one for magics. So if you get Olkiora now, you're doing pretty good, if I do say so myself. Um, lots of damage, hits airs. Yep, definitely deserves to be great. All right, what do we got here? We got Uriu. Udi's, <sighs> this is tough. There's all these other air hitters on this category already, so Udi is gonna fall under the good category. He's still not doing enough damage to carry. Whitebeard, he's good. He has his ability. Yuta is gonna be, <sighs> this one's tough. Yuto does 1.3 million like magic damage per minute, which is fantastic. His range is amazing, so, Yes, he's a must spring, but he's more under the great, to be honest with you guys. He's not like must must spring, he's under the great. But um, yeah, let me know where you think he should go. That is basically it for this tier list. Um, this is just from what I know from my experience of playing the game and what I would personally use to like do a story mode or to do a uh, legend mode or something like that. But to simplify this tier list, those top 
two rows are the characters you must have on your team. So before you ask me, hey Toad, who should I switch out my team for? Look at these top two rows, decide if they're on your team or not. And if you have six of them, you're doing good. If you have all six magic users up top, you're doing good. If you have all six physical or all seven physical units, you're doing good. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, hopefully they update on Friday. If not, I don't know. But that's it. I'll see you later. Research thesis. Bye.